Well, recently the financial markets melted down over fears of the COVID-19, otherwise known as the coronavirus. The lower prices hit farm commodities as well. As Twyla's Neil Melanson tells us this week, there's more to the story than just one virus, and it's got some folks already rethinking their strategies for the coming crop year. A lot of folks have been washing their hands a lot lately due to the coronavirus. If only the markets could wash their hands of it as well. While financial and agriculture markets have come up a bit since record drops the last week of February, the impact is staying with us, according to LSU Ag Center economist Michael Deliberto. Corn futures fell, oil price dropped, and as oil prices fell, uh, that brought ethanol prices down with it. Uh, and exports were a part of the corn balance sheet that we really needed to see an export uh, increase in to really halt that price decline. Despite recent agreements between the U.S. and China, Chinese buying has been limited at best as a direct result of the virus. And with the coronavirus hitting them, uh, and the, the, the Chinese people finally getting out of their houses and going back to work, those ports are backlogged. There's a big plug right now, so they got a lot of stuff to unload, and then maybe we'll get an idea of what their needs are. But, uh, yeah, they're not buying from anybody, and the outlook of purchases could be pretty slim right now. Greg Fox is talking with Richard Fontenot about his farming operation. Fontenot says that while the MFP payments help through the tariff disruptions, these recent disruptions are interrupting farmers as well. With some of the, 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 the virus issues going on in there, to how to figure out this phase one and, and the accountability of it, it's going to really dictate whether or not we actually go in. In other words, the progress of the trade deal and the implementation of it is going to dictate if we can do any MFPs in the future. Many analysts are saying we might not see China re-enter the market until late this summer. Hopefully our farmers can last until then. For This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, I'm Neil Malasa. A roundtable discussion with the USDA about what could be done to help farmers took place in New Orleans this week. We'll bring you more from that story on next week's show.